So it's, it's day one of my four day touring weekend. It's Thursday. I'll be back on Sunday. And according to the weather, it's going to be great for the next three or four days. So we're all packed up. Bikes ready to go. And we're off to the east coast, Dunbar. That's the first stop. So that's about 70 miles, 75 miles. So we better get going. So this is the first time on the bike since uh, March. And I suppose the smart guy would have took the canal route, which is flatter. But I rest my case. So I'm almost near Slamanen, it's that way. Uh, <laughs> but the end of the day I found my, I'd have found my bike legs again. But we're going that way to Slamanen and beyond. So here we are in Slamanen. That's the first town on our list. Just a million miles to go. Okay, this is a uh, village number two, Even Bridge. Yeah. It's a lovely day. So we've got quite a bit to go. Uh, but it is a beautiful day. Cows in the fields. That's lovely. So, on we go. So the river's running high. Fast and high. I'm not surprised that after all the rain we've had. You can see how peaty the, the water is coming from the hill. So this is Bathgate. I thought it would be bigger than this, but if you're, fa if you're from Bathgate, no offence, the pavilion. So we're going down that way towards Broxburn and then that's we're going to join the canal there and head through Edinburgh. So I've just pulled off the road, uh, I'm going to have some eat, I'm starving. Uh, we shouldn't be that far from Broxburn, that's where we join the canal. Uh, Gotta have some meatballs and maybe a wee cuppa. Don't know about the cuppa, I might wait to get some biscuits and I've not got any milk so I think I'll get biscuits and milk first before I have a cuppa. One of these and maybe some fruit cocktail or something and then head on my merry way about 50 miles to go uh, for today but that depends on how fast I go and how light it stays so I had some lunch and I joined the canal at Broxburn and this is the second aqueduct there's one running about there's one round about uh, one left go, that's a big long one. This one is only half the size. Uh, I think the last video I made uh, about going to Edinburgh, about see the bike race, I think I got here and I says Edinburgh's about 11 miles. So Edinburgh's about 11 miles. Maybe see this river because there's been a lot of rain and 
The rivers are running wild. And there's a few a few rapids down there. Anyway, we're about 11 miles from Edinburgh. It's a kind of cloudy day, but it's, it's very warm. It's about 20 odd degrees. It's going to be great. I think it's going to even clear up the night, and tomorrow's meant to be no cloud, sunny. So, try and get to Dunbar this evening. So, if Edinburgh's about 11 miles, Dunbar's about another 30 after that. So, see, I don't even know what time it is. So. We'll see how we go. Portobello Beach, Thursday, jumping. Every park in Edinburgh is jumping as well. That was great. It's going to be better weather tomorrow. Okay, it's about... Just, it's just about back of six and it's still 23.2 degrees. I've got a 15 mile to go. See that? I've got a 15 mile to go and find a camping place. Let's crack on! So, we made it to Dunbar. So, all we need is find somewhere to camp. So, the search begins now. So that is the mileage for today. I didn't actually put my garment on here, I've done a few miles after I left the house. So I'm in the woods here at a golf course. On the side of a golf course, put the tent up. I'm not going to put the, the fly sheet on it. Nah, yeah, I don't expect rain. However, you never know. I might put it on later, but I'm bushed. That's a hundred and ten kilometres or hundred and something kilometres. Anyway, bedtime for me. That's the tent there. I don't know if you'll see the horizon. Let's see if we can see it. the sky. The beach is down there. I was going to get down the beach but what? So I bought one of these wee cheap alarms that you get on eBay. Uh, just so that if, instead of sleeping with one eye open, you can sleep with both eyes shut. Uh, but they're cheap. But they could save your bike if somebody did try to steal it. Uh, 
any vids, if there's any vids at night and that alarm went off, it would be as loud as in. So that's a wee alarm for the bike. I think they're about five pounds. So this is Dunbar. I spent a night in the uh, side of a golf course. It wasn't a great place, but didn't sleep very well. First night, never sleep well. So, I'm going to have a look about the town and then maybe go somewhere else, North Berwick perhaps. So, let's see. So I'm just outside Preston Pans and it's a glorious day. You can see the fourth bridge over there. Anyway, it's a fantastic day, it's about 25 degrees and I'm thinking they're making a day at that day of the day at the beach. Uh, I've done a fair few miles, I've done about 90 miles all in, so that's 20 since yesterday. So, I could give you a wee rest. Five months off the bike, your extremities start to hurt. Hands, feet, bottom. Uh, so, I think he's just making a day at the beach. Maybe go in there and paddle. We harp on port scene. So I've decided just to stay here and port Seaton tonight. Uh, recover from my day one ride. I'm gonna camp right in here, that's we patch. There's a right, a right good patch in the bushes there, but this patch will do, right here. Uh, yeah, day one, after being off the bike for five months and doing 70 miles, it's a bit much for the first day, so I've not done many miles today, I've done about 20. So. I'm going to just camp here tonight and then move on tomorrow. That's North Berry, that's about 10 or 11 miles away. So, that's what I do, just camp here. A nice, wee quiet place. The road's right there. And yeah, there's caravans, static caravans, and caravan parks just up the road there. So, I know these bushes are hiding me through the road, so it should be okay. Come dark, dark time, we'll just set the tent up. Uh, so, that's the plan. I've never seen a swan in the sea before. Or maybe I have, but I just didn't even notice. But this one's just the only swan that's here. Hmm, sea swan. So the tides went out again. There was a guy up in that house up there. Right on the edge there. He was looking down at me for a wee while. And then I turned around and he was he was standing over there. Standing over there watching me. Don't know what he was thinking. 
Anyway, I've got my tent set up. Stealthy. Right behind that, just to throw my poncho over the, the bike, just to hide the orange bits. And that's me. So, I'll be up in the morning nice and early, get my breakfast. And head towards Edinburgh. There's a bike there. Tent. So that's the plan. Providing the authorities don't come and chase me. I don't think they will, but you never know. That's where I was over there. Earlier on. Quite good over there. Looks like there's rain out, out there. Well, it's morning time and it's a cracker. Not a cloud in the sky. A wee tent still there. Was it the best? I'm not that I've been lucky with pitches this, these last two nights. But hopefully tonight will be better. I think a better pitch. Beautiful day. There's this swan. Just got a cup of coffee going. Something to eat. Not in any rush today. Taking it easy. I'm on holiday. Yes, it is truly a wonderful day. That's the the, uh, the Fife coastline over there. Fife goes all the way down, all the way down. And then that's the east coast. Still is an epic morning. Well, we're all packed up, ready to go. Got my rubbish in a bag, just to put in a bin as I pass it. And we're off down the coast, down the east coast, towards Edinburgh. And we'll see what we see on the way. This would be a much better place to camp. Uh, I'll keep this one in the future. Still a beautiful day. Beautiful day. We wee bit of a colder breeze right enough, but it's still early.
this is Muscle Borough. I'm standing on a harbour. There's a bass rock over there in the distance. Just making a wee cup of coffee in Portobello. The old uh, railway tunnel in Edinburgh. It's a kind of slight hill down the You go some speed going down there. Uh, and obviously it's a slight hill back up, but it's great fun. What's a great graffiti? Lovely. The medals in Edinburgh. Everybody's out having a good time in the sun. Really has good weather, it's well, it's 20 degrees an hour. Not as warm as it was the last couple of days. It just takes time. It just takes time.
Scotland, let's go. So this is going to be my campsite for tonight. Uh, it's a, a sea scout place. Club or whatever you might call it. And we get this big bit of ground in here, nice and flat as well. So that's where I'm going to camp. Well, almost home, it's Sunday and it was a great couple of days, three days, or four days even counting today, so nice wee bike trip, weather was fantastic, couldn't have asked for better weather, so you could just jump right in there. I'm walking through the Falkirk Tunnel 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 That's the Falkirk Tunnel 600 odd metres long Lovely jabbly so that's the trip complete. Uh, let's see. Going on 45 miles. Uh, that was a great weekend. Weather was fantastic. It was really, really hot. Uh, only got up there to go and I'm home. So, yeah, can't wait to do it again. <laughs> 